Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful blessed day today just to be in the presence of the Lord. Right now, every last one of my sisters and my brothers, I need you to stop doing what you're doing right now. And I need you to stand on your feet. And I need you to open your mouth right now today. And I need you to praise his name like you never praised him before. I need you to worship his name like you never worshiped his name before. I need you to lift his name up high like you never done it before. Because Jesus, I say Jesus, deserves all the thanks right now. He deserves all the praise right now. He deserves all the glory right now. Because he is so magnificent. He is so wonderful. He is so amazing. He is our helper. He is our refuge. He is our salvation. He is our protector. He is our healer. He is our provider. He is your strength. He is your comfort. He is your everything when you need him and more. You can always count. You can always depend. And you can always, I mean always rely on Jesus. It might seem like that Jesus is far away, but my point I'm telling you right now today, Jesus, my, my brothers and sisters, Jesus is one step away from you. He is one call away from you. Jesus is right there holding your hand when you don't even realize it. He's right there watching over you. He is listening to you. He is caring for you. He is watching over you. He is protecting you. He is your everything. When everybody else walk and leave out of your life, Jesus will always be the one right there in your corner. Jesus is the only one that got your back. Jesus is the only one that is for you. Jesus is the only one who said he will never leave you or forsake you. He's the only one that said he will never do you wrong. He will never stab you in the back. Jesus is the only one that you can tell a secret to and you ain't got to worry about him blabbing, you, blabbing off and telling everybody what you told him. He's the only one. He's the only one that's been there for you. He's the only one who don't have your back. He's the only one who don't get you out of that jam. He's the only one don't got, got you out of trouble when you cause the trouble. He's the only one. He's the only one that you need. So yes, he deserves it all. Praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a confusing thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing because our Heavenly Father God is still on the throne. He is still performing miracles and wonders each and every day and every last one of our life. He stays the same. He never changes up like we do. That's why I thank him the way I do. That's why I praise him the way I do because if it weren't for Jesus, you and I, we wouldn't be here right now today. It was Jesus that breathe life inside our body today. It was Jesus that touched our body and healed us. That alarm clock didn't do that. The birds are there chirping that wake us up. It was Jesus that woke us up. It was Jesus I'm not finished with you yet. It was Jesus I'm giving you another chance and another opportunity today. It was Jesus that said, go make something happen today. It was Jesus that said that your testimony has not been shared yet. Your story has not been broadcast yet. Jesus, I'm still working the details out. Jesus, I'm still shaping you right now. I'm still forming you to what I what I want you to be. Jesus said he's not done yet because that masterpiece is not done yet. Come on, somebody. Jesus the only one that keep it real with you. He's the only one that keep it real with you. Nobody's going to keep it real with you more than Jesus. I know that. I know that for a fact. You can tell me anything, but I know there's nobody realer than Jesus. Nobody. So, Jesus, I want to say thank you right now today. Jesus, I'm coming to you right now today to let you know, please forgive me right now today. Father God, we will repent of our sins to you right now today. Whatever it was that we done that was not pleasing in your eye, please forgive me, my sister, and my brothers right now. If it was something that was not pleasing in your heart, please forgive me and my sisters and my brothers right now. As we come to you as sinners, as we come to you today, Father God, please forgive us for our sins. Wash us clean, purify us right now, and cover us through the blood of Jesus. We must repent and let Jesus know, please forgive us, because we are sinners. We do fall. We do make mistakes. 
And every last one of us, we sin. You might not know that you sin, but you do sin. So that's why it's so important to ask God, please forgive us. Thank you, Jesus, for fighting our battles. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for taking care of our bills. Thank you for, 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 for watching over us. Thank you for everything today, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, that we're able to have a seat at your table tonight. Father God, we let you know right now today that we are available to serve and praise and worship your holy name, Jesus. Father God, we always got time for you, so that's why we are available right now today. We always got time to serve you. That's why we have a seat at your table right now today. So, Father God, I'm asking you right now today in your name for you to move in our life, that you do something new today like you never done before. In Jesus' holy mighty name, we give you the thanks, praise, and glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read the Lord's Prayer, my sisters, and my brothers, every young man and young lady. Can you please turn your Bible to Matthew 6? And we're going to read verses 9 through 14. That's Matthew 6, and we're going to read verses 9 through 14. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debt as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. And that's how you should pray, my sisters. That's how you should pray, my brothers. That's how you should pray, young men and young ladies. Always read the Lord's Prayer. Keep that in your study. Amen? Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Right now, His presence is in this house right now. He is touching us right now. He is healing us right now. He is protecting us right now. He is coming through the blood right now. His wings are watching over us. His wings are protecting us right now today. Jesus is in this house right now today. Yes, it is the Holy Spirit is moving through us right now today. Amen. And I'm so excited right now today, my sisters and my brothers. For another chance and another opportunity for me to come into your home to preach another word that's coming from my heavenly father god and i just know that this message today is going to touch somebody it's going to heal somebody it's going to uplift somebody it's going to give somebody the strength of what they need and i know that you're going to be satisfied i know that you're going to be so full that you're going to want more and that you're going to want more get ready god is about to speak to you right now today amen amen and before i get started I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just came thanking you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I came thanking you enough for this anointing word right now, for this beautiful blessed message right now today, Jesus. I came thanking you enough for the air that we was able to breathe right now. I just came thanking you enough for our help and our strength. I just came thinking of Jesus for the food that you have blessed and prepared to put on that table. The clothing shoes that you have put on that back. I just came thinking of Jesus how you providing. I just came thinking of Jesus how you making the way out of no way. I just came thinking of Jesus because you're in this place tonight. I know that your words is about to heal somebody tonight. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, I just came thinking of the vision. I just came thinking of the provision. I just came thinking of Father God for how you moving through us right now today. I just came thinking of your words, Jesus. I just came thinking of your promises, Jesus. I just came thinking of Jesus how you moving mountains on our behalf right now today. I just came thinking of Jesus because we always call, we always can call and count and depend rely on you today jesus i just can't think of the holy spirit that's moving through us right now today i just can't think of the angels that is joining us in praise and worship right now today i just can't think of every open door i can't think of the door that you have closed i just can't think of our blessing right now our breakthrough right now our healing right now our anointing right now our deliverance right now our double portion right now our more than enough right now i just can't thank you enough jesus i just can't thank you enough jesus i just can't thank you 
enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. That's why you're so awesome, so amazing, so faithful. That's why I thank you. That's why I praise you. That's why I worship you. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you, Jesus, for listening to us. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to have a seat at your table tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. Thank you for being so faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for providing. Thank you for healing. Thank you for removing things that shouldn't been in our way. Thank you for removing negative people, toxic people out of our life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this, this, this journey that you have us on. Thank you for our assignment. Thank you for our mission. Thank you. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. Amen. Amen. So my brothers, my sisters, let's get into this word. And if you're ready to receive this message today, let the church say amen. So can you please turn your Bible to Luke 1. And we're going to read verses 13 through 14. That's Luke chapter 1. And we're going to read verses 13 and 14. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But the angels said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to give him the name John. He will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of the birth. 15, let's keep going a little bit more. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink, or he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from birth. Mm. In today's message for me, that God spoke to me to tell somebody today, God told me to tell you right now today, get ready to receive what you have prayed for. Get ready, my sisters. Get ready, my brothers, to receive everything and more for what you pray for but it's the key to this are you really really ready to receive it are you going to be in shock are you going to be awe are you going to be dumb look dumbfounded when it comes because some people you pray for something but when it actually came you really wasn't ready you really wasn't prepared it came out of no way it came out of nowhere and now you don't know what to do what you ask for. You don't know what to do, what you pray for. So you got to be really, really ready. You really got to be, you really got to be on, on your toes. You really got to be on your game each and every day because an angel, I believe tonight, I believe today, I believe this morning, I believe this afternoon, wherever you have around the world, I believe an angel is about to come visit you and that angel is about to talk to you. And that angel is going to tell you, don't be afraid because your prayer has been heard. And God is giving that angel a sign tonight, this morning, this afternoon, or wherever you at right now today. And that angel is going to speak to you. It's going to reveal to you everything that Jesus is going to tell you. That your wife is going to receive this. That your husband is going to get this. Get ready. Somebody's about to meet you. Get ready because God's about to put you at the right place at the right time. Get ready. Unexpected the rain is about to come. A blessing is about to come. A breakthrough is about to come. A miracle is about to come. You don't know where it's coming from. But get ready. 
whatever it is that you've been praying for, and it's been it's been lingering for quite some time. And God tells us in the book of Habakkuk, He said, "Get ready because the revelation will come, and it would not be a minute or a day or a second late." And I believe right now today that someone around the world you've been praying for something, and you've been praying and you've been praying. And the more that you've been praying on, you've been believing it, and you've been trusting it, and your prayer got to have some faith on it before God sent the an angel. And right now, God has noticed what you've been praying for has been heard because of your faith, because of your trust, and because of your hope. So get ready to receive everything and more than what God is about to bring to you. Because it's going to be more than what you ask for. It's going to be more than what you pray for. Some of you right now today, you ain't pray for certain things, but God is going to give it to you anyway because of your faithfulness, because of your obedience, because the word of God tells us in the book of Matthew 19, 26, that anyone that leaves brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, homes, and fields for the sake of him will, will receive eternal life, but also will receive a hundred more. So get ready to receive your hundred more. Get ready. Somebody got a house. That's already built for you. A house that you ain't had to put no down payment on. A house that's already paid off. Get ready a business deal is about to come. Get ready a ministry deal is about to come. Get ready. You better receive a miracle child when the doctor told you there's no way that you're going to be able to conceive. But it's a miracle baby. It's in your womb right now today. You don't even realize it's jumping for joy right now. It's already been blessed. Jesus already know the sex of your child. Your child already have a already have a plan that's already going to help him or her. That's going to succeed and they will be blessed. I don't know who need to hear this right now. I don't know who God is talking to right now. But he said you need to get ready right now. You need to be on your game right now. You need to be alert right now. And don't be afraid when it comes because the angels come to see you today. I don't know what time the angel is coming. But I know an angel is going to visit somebody home today. Right now as I speak, it's coming to you. But Zechariah wasn't ready for what he prayed for. He wasn't ready for it. He wasn't on his game. But the prayer is going to come anyway because he already prayed for it. A lot of you right now today, you ain't know your game right now. We don't know how it's going to come, but when it's going to come, it's going to come. And I believe and I declare, I decree right now today in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I know everything that you have prayed for my sisters. I know everything that you have prayed for my brothers, even myself. I know an angel's coming to visit me tonight. I know an angel's coming to visit you, visit to, visit you tonight. And that angel's going to have some good, great information. That's coming from Jesus. Because if you look at the text, it says, The angel of the Lord appeared to him standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. See, he wasn't even ready. Amen? And But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Jesus is telling you right now today, my brothers, your prayer has been heard. Jesus is telling you right now today, my sisters, that your prayer has been heard. Jesus is telling me now, oh, help me, Jesus, that serving LT, that your prayer has been heard. It's been heard. When you got time to pray, Jesus has time to listen. When you had time to seek him, what the book, what the word of God tells us in Matthew 6, 33, more, and when you seek the kingdom of God first, then he will what? He will add. He didn't say he will take away. He will add. So whatever it is that you've been praying for, whatever it is that you are seeking, Jesus, Jesus has been adding on to whatever it is that you've been praying for. He's been adding on things that you didn't even ask for. He's been adding on things that you didn't even pray for. He's been adding on things that you didn't even fast for. He's been adding on things that already have your name on it and you didn't even know they was yours. He already had the house. He already had business. He already had ministries. He already had everything that's already have your name 
name on it because of your faith, because of your obedience, because you were patient and you were humble enough. And that's how you was bearing much fruit because you are bad in him and he abided in you. You abide in his words and his words abide in you. Then Jesus said that you can ask anything in his name. Oh, help me with this Jesus. He said that you can ask anything in his name and he swear he's going to do it. So Jesus is telling me right now today, your prayer is coming to you. It's coming to you quickly. He said, get ready to receive it today. Get ready to break to praise right now. Get ready to worship right now. Get ready to break down right now. Get ready to cut a rug right now because an angel will come visit you tonight to let you know what Jesus is about to tell you right now today. Whatever it is that you pray for, get ready to receive it. Get ready to declare it. I decree it right now. I step my name on it. I approve of it right now because I know that my prayer has been heard. But one thing I know for sure that my prayer is coming and it's on its way. I receive it today. I declare it today in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what you've been praying for today, my brothers and my sisters. I don't know what you've been praying for for a while, but get ready to receive it. It's on its way. It's knocking right now. It's a phone call away. It's an email away. It's a text message away. It's a letter away. It's on its way. Do you believe in your prayer? Do you believe in the miracle? Do you believe that Jesus can turn your situation around just like that? Because I believe right now today, Jesus just turned your situation around right now today. Those lonely nights, those nights that you've been sitting up worried, pulling your hair out, can't eat, crying, it's over with. Jesus said, get ready to shout for joy. It's your time to shout for joy, my sisters. It's your time to shout for joy, my brothers. It's your time to shout for joy, young man, young lady. It's my time to shout for joy. I know how long that you've been in that drought. I know how long that you've been looking at everybody else getting blessed and you had not received your blessing, that you had not received your breakthrough, that you had not received your miracle, that you have not received your double portion, that you had not received your reign. But Jesus said, it's on the way. He said, get ready to receive it. Get ready. You need to claim it right now. You need to claim it right now and say, Jesus, I know it's on the way and they ain't taking no for an answer. I receive it right now. I declare it right now. I decree it right now in the mighty name of Jesus because I know it's on its way. And you got to know it. Nobody else can know it but you. Do you really know it's on its way? Because Zechariah really didn't really know it was on the way like that. I know it's on the way. My faith knows it's on the way. My trust knows it's on the way. My hope knows it's on the way. Because I know what I've been going through. This year was an eye-opener for me, for me to see what Jesus is about to bring into my life. This year should have been an eye-opener for you, my sisters, my brothers, to see what God is about to set you up for. This right here should have been awakened right now and say, I know I had to go through this. I know that Jesus had to tear me down. For me to build me up. I know Jesus had to put the pieces back together. To get me bigger. To get me better. To get me stronger. For what's about to come. And that's why you went through what you went through this year. Because Jesus had to tear you down first. A blessing can't come when you tear down. A breakthrough can't come when you tow down. A miracle can't come when you tow down. But a blessing, a breakthrough, a miracle, double portion, rain come as Jesus has been putting the pieces back together. He's been gluing you back together. He said, now that you are ready, now that you are bigger, now that you are stronger, he said that what you've been praying for, it's on the way. Get ready to open your door. Get ready to um open your mailbox. Get ready to open your email. Get ready to receive a text message, get ready to receive a letter, get ready to receive a uh, to see a stranger, get ready for the unexpected is about to come because an angel is about to visit you today. Amen. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. I don't know who I'm preaching to right now today, but I believe it for you today. I declare it for you right now today. I decree it for you right now today. Get ready. For everything which you prayed for, it's on its way. My brothers, my sisters, I don't know about you, but I'm so excited right now. 
I'm so moved right now as I was coming upstairs in my mind and my spirit I was gonna I was gonna preach on something else but as I came into my water room as I came into this spiritual room the Holy Spirit said nah I don't want you to preach on that I need you to preach on this subject right here and I said what you want me to preach on he said this right here what you wrote down what I told you to wrote down right now a week ago get ready for what you pray for I said you really want me to preach on this he said, he's my servant. I need you to preach on this. He said, get ready to receive everything and more for what you prayed on. And I said, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for listening to my prayer. I thank you, Jesus, for my prayer being heard because, Jesus, I thought my prayer had not been heard. Jesus, I thought that you was overlooking my prayers. Jesus, I really thought that you was blocking my prayers. Jesus said, no, I was not overlooking your prayers. I was not blocking your prayers. He said, I was tearing you down so your prayers can be heard. I was tearing you down for you to get ready to receive your prayer. I was tearing you down to get you ready to receive what you've been praying for. Wasn't this year an eye-opening for you, son? I said, yes, Father, it really was. He said, because I had to tear you down. He said, now that your building is ready to be seen, your prayers is ready to come to you. This ministry that I lent you is ready to be, is ready to be shown to the world right now. I said, thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. And he asked me, are you ready to receive it? I said, Father God, I've been ready. I'm on my toes ready. I receive it today. I declare it today. I decree it today. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Jesus ain't taking no for an answer. Just like Jacob. When Jacob was having that wrestling, that wrestling mess with you. What did Jacob tell you? He said I'm not letting you go. Even though that you can overpower Jacob. But it was my faith. It's been wrestling with you. And I'm telling you. Jesus I'm not, saying, I'm not taking no for an answer. My prayer will come. And it's on its way. I receive it today. I declare it today. I decree it today. I stamp my name on it today because I believe in this. And when you believe, what can stop you? Nothing, my brothers and sisters, when you believe. And if you know that your prayer is on the way and you know that your prayer has been heard, right now I want you to give Jesus some praise right now. I want you to give him some glory right now. I want you to say thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, because I know an angel will visit me tonight. I want to say thank you, Jesus, that my prayer is on its way. It's about to knock on my door. It's a phone call away. It's an email away. It's a text message away. It's a letter away. I know that you're about to put me at the right place at the right time. I would never thought and imagine in a million years that what you're about to bring to me, that you have my name on it. And I want to say thank you for it, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus that everything that we pray for God is on its way. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God, that our prayer is about to come to us a hundredfold right now today. And if this word and if this miss for you, I want you to give Jesus some thanks and praise and glory for it right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. I always put Jesus first place. Always see him. Always continue to thank and praise and worship his holy name. Continue to pray for your sisters and your brothers. It doesn't matter if you know them or not. Continue to pray for them anyway. Continue to pray for me as I'm always going to continue to pray for y'all. I love y'all. This is Servant Minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Amen.